what if you want to use the water pump? You connect it to the reservoir, power on, and everything ok. But what if the output unexpectedly became clogged? The pump will maintain the flow rate and the pressure in line will suddenly become greater than those your hose's connections are intended for. This can possibly lead either to disconnection and blowing of your pressure lines or excessive wear or maybe even a stall of a pump proto leading to overheat, failure and possibly causing fire. How to avoid such undesirable conditions? Guess how? Right, use the bypass valve in your line, so when the output is clogged or the gate closed, pressure will increase until it reaches the threshold and then the bypass valve opens so liquid can flow through a different way. So in this video we will make a bypass valve by our hands. For a bypass valve, let's try using medical syringe. How to transform it to a bypass valve? The syringe itself has a single output. Let's add second output and spring. So now, if there is excessive pressure inside the syringe, the pressure which force is greater than the force of spring, things go this way. How to make the second output? Let's take one additional syringe and cut its end, drill the hole in the second one, use the soldering iron or glue gun, How to make an assembly with a spring? We need a casing. Ok, launch in the freeware Inkscape to make drawings to later send them for lazy cutting. I've got my lazy cut parts. Assemble the casing with the syringe and spring. After getting the result, We've got a bypass valve fully ready for test, but we need the equipment for testing. Pump, gate, pipings, reservoir, gauge also. Plus 12 volts source. Assembly in the circuit. This gate is needed to close the recirculation circuit so to redirect the flow from recirculation circuit into bypass valve and the pressure gate is before it to check the pressure in system so called bypass valve return line attachment to the syringe using glue gun connecting the cap to attach the reservoir to the thermal pot pump fill in our system our pump circuit with the water Testing how the circuit works and uh, trying to close the gate so to check if bypass valve works. No, it doesn't work because the pressure the pump provides isn't sufficient to move the piston of the syringe. It could only be moved without a spring, and this is not the result we need. So we bought a new pump. This is new circuit, let's try it. 5 liters bottle is too heavy for the cup which bends under the pressure under the load so there are massive leaks and the pump plays in wrong direction also, so it doesn't work at all. We slightly changed design, there is no need in reservoir just because the circuit is recirculatory, all the liquid going through the pump returns back. We have also done a great job to get rid of leaks in circuit. So the bypass valve works, so this is the result.
Let's now make hydraulic actuating cylinder with the same principle. It is the assembly with four gates. The bottom pipe is the input, side ones are return lines. If you open gates 1 and 3, liquid goes to the right syringe, moving its piston to the left, pushing the liquid from the left syringe into the return line.